Have you ever felt like God chose the wrong person? Like you looked at yourself and you're like, God, I know you can't be talking about me. We need to talk about that. What's up, CEO Boss Chicks? Hello, hello, Boss Chicks, Trendsetters, and Holy Spirit-filled people. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk everything Holy Spirit leadership, that's business and ministry. We focus on equipping you and developing you to have the mindset of a godly leader while you are on this earth. For today's video, we are continuing our conversation in Jeremiah chapter 1 and Exodus chapter 4. I know some of you guys are probably like, wow, we're still in Jeremiah. Jeremiah and Exodus, yes, listen, when you let the Holy Spirit guide you in Bible study, he will magnify one scripture and break it down into like 10 different topics if you allow him, okay? Um, but for today's video, we're focusing on with these scriptures, the connection between Prophet Jeremiah and Prophet Moses was both of them had feelings of what you would call low self-esteem or feeling inadequate, but for different reasons. And sometimes we look at these biblical figures, um, our brothers and sisters from the past in the Bible, and then we have such honor and respect for them, but we forget that they were human too. They felt what we felt. They went through what we went through. And it is really important to look at the human parts of these biblical um, brothers and sisters who we honor. So that way we can realize that, yes, he was a great prophet. Yes, they were a great apostle and they went through the same struggles that we're currently going through. Now, first we're going to go to Exodus chapter four, verse one, and starting in verse one, it says, and Moses answered, but behold, they will not believe me and listen to and obey my voice for they will say, the Lord has not appeared to you. We're going to skip down and we're going to go to verse 10 and Moses is back at it again. And he, Moses says to the Lord, Oh Lord, I am not eloquent or a man of words, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant. For I am slow of speech and have a heavy and awkward tongue. And then the Lord tries to talk to him and to reason with him. And then back at verse 12, God says to him, now therefore go and I will be your mouth and will teach you what to say. You would think that is it, but no. As you read verse 13, you see that Moses says again, pardon me, Lord, but basically please get somebody else to do this. And then in verse 14, it says the anger of the Lord rose up from what, because Moses kept refusing what God was saying. And then in verse 15, God said to Moses, again, I will teach you what to say. You will have your brother brother Aaron with you. Both, I will teach both of you what to say. You have this. But he is stuck in the mindset, in the fear of how the people are going to respond to him. He's more focused on how the people are going to respond more than he was focused on what God had already Already said that he could do. Now we're going to go to Jeremiah chapter one, verses five through seven. And it says, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you before you were born. I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Jeremiah said, alas, sovereign Lord, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. And we read both of those scriptures to pull out the point that your fears limit you in areas that God has already qualified you. Jeremiah was afraid of the people because he was young and he felt like he did not know how to speak to adults because even a lot of those adults, um, as you read Jeremiah, were priests and elders and prophets, okay? God was, the Jeremiah was like, God, I'm too young for this. They're not going to listen to me and God had to tell him don't be afraid of their faces. You're going to say what I tell you to say. Don't worry about them. Moses was afraid because he, because of his speech and he didn't think that he would know how to say, he didn't know what to say to those people. 
And God was saying to them, I will teach you what to say. Don't worry about that. You have a mission to do. And you have to be very careful because your fear will put a boundary on you that God didn't put on you. Your fear and your anxiety will have you to highlight something that God has already taken into account. God has already taken into account what you are not good at. God has already taken into account what you are struggling with with. God has already taken into account what you need help with, what you are unlearned in. And God says, yep, I see all of that. If you let me, I will teach you what to say. If you let me, I will help you over- overcome these hurdles so that way you can get to this destiny. But instead of allowing God to teach you how to speak, instead of allowing God to teach you what to say, instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to teach you how to be a prophet, how to prophesy, how how to do this, how to do the things that God has called you in kingdom business, instead of allowing God to be your teacher, you look at all of the reasons why you can't do it and you don't even start. God has already seen everything that could possibly hold you back from what he has called you to do. And what he is saying to you right now is, I see the obstacle. I see the wall that you see that you think is going to stop you from doing this. And God is like, it's not going to stop you. Just grab my hand and I'm going to show you how to go around it. I'm going to show you how to grab a hammer and you're going to bust that wall down. But instead of allowing the Holy Spirit to teach you how to bust those barriers down, you allow yourself to succumb to those barriers. And what God wants to say to you is, you are the right woman. You are the right person for the job. You have to trust in the Lord that he knew you before you were put in your mother's womb. He knew what you weren't going to be good at and he knew what you were going to struggle in. But you have to trust in the Lord that God says, I can do it as young as I am, as old as I am, as not good at this and that as I am. God says he will be my teacher and he will help me get to the end goal that he has for for my life. And if you trust in the Lord to teach you, if you trust in the Lord to train you, I promise you will be the prophet, the apostle, the evangelist, the teacher, the pastor, the entrepreneur that he has called you to be. But you have to trust him. Alrighty, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that I was able to speak some life into you. For those of you that were feeling like a little low, like, okay, God, do you realize that you called me of all people to do this? Don't worry. Moses and Jeremiah and other people in the Bible felt the exact same way that you did, myself included. God's like, yeah, 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 I see all that. Don't worry. I'm going to help you get through it. Just grab my hand and let's get started, okay? I love you guys. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want to contact me, go to the links down in the description box and you can contact me there, okay? Remember, it's CEO, boss chick mentality time, baby. Let's go.